Hi there, Miss Barber here. On a team of 10 swimmers, how many possible four-person relay teams are there? In this situation, all swimmers must be selected from this one team. No swimmer can be selected more than once, and the order or arrangements in which swimmers are selected affect the composition of the relay team. The process of selecting such groups is called a permutation, the title of this lesson. We could solve this problem by using the fundamental counting principle. There are 10 choices for the first, 9 for the second, 8 for the third, and 7 choices for the fourth position. That is, there are 10 times 9 times 8 times 7, which is 5,040 possible relay teams. Even so, in this lesson, we're going to learn how to compute permutations directly. Discovery. Determine the following counts. Part A. The number of different ways four people can be selected for a relay. All four will compete. Piggybacking on the fundamental counting principle, we have four places to fill and we need to put in the number of options available for each place. With four competitors, we've got four to choose for the first place, then three for the second, two for the third, and only one candidate left for the last position for a total of 24 different ways. How about part B? The number of different ways nine people can be lined up to bat. Similar to part A, but this time we have nine spaces to fill, and we start with nine choices for the first, and we continue to decrease the number down, eight, then seven, then six, then five, then four, then three, then two, then one. The product is 362,880 possible different batting lineups. Let's look at a definition. If n is a positive integer, the notation n exclamation point red n factorial is the product of all positive integers from n down to 1. We would write this as n factorial equals n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 dot 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 3 times 2 all the way down to 1. 0 factorial by definition is 1. 0 factorial equals 1. Example. Use factorials and technology to compute the following. Part A, the number of different ways four people can be selected for a relay. All four will compete. Here, we're looking at four factorial, and we'll use our technology. This is a TI-84 plus CE screen. We're going to use your calculator to compute four factorial. To do so, Select the number 4. Now you're going to hit or select Math. Use the dial to scroll right to select PROB to suggest probability and then scroll down to the number 4 which has the exclamation point. That's our factorial. Press Enter. Now on the screen you see 4 factorial and enter it again, the result is 24. Let's record 24. Part B, the number of different ways nine people can be lined up to bat. We can compute that as nine factorial. We'll use our technology. I am using a TI-84 plus CE calculator to compute nine factorial Press 9. The next key is math. Scroll along the top until you get to PROB to suggest probability. And then scroll down 
to four colon exclamation point. That exclamation point is our factorial. Press enter. On your screen, you see nine factorial. Press enter again. You have 362,880. Let's record 362,880. Example 2. Evaluate the following. Part A. 8 factorial divided by 5 factorial. Let's do this without technology. We would write this as 8 factorial, which means 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and the numerator divided by 5 factorial which is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. We can write this using factorial notation so in the numerator we could have 8 times 7 times 6 then times 5 factorial. The denominator, we'll just go back and write it as 5 factorial. Either way, in the first rendition, the 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 in the numerator will cancel the 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 in the denominator. In the second rendition, we can just cancel the 5 factorial in the numerator and the 5 factorial in the denominator. Either way, we get to a product of 8 times 7 times 6, and that is 336. Using that nifty little trick we learned in the previous example, let's do part B. 113 factorial divided by 112 factorial. You may have noticed that if you tried this on your calculator, it's a data error. It's too big. But we can do this manually. Let's write the numerator as 113 times 112 factorial, and we'll divide that by 112 factorial. Then the factorial of 112 factorial in the numerator cancels the 112 factorial in the denominator, and our answer is just 113. Definition. A. Permutation is an ordered arrangement of items such that all selections come from a single group of items, no item is selected more than once, and the order of arrangements matters. Example. Determine the number of different ways in which Part A Four swimmers from a team of 10 can be selected for relay. We've actually solved this already. It turns out that using the fundamental counting principle, we could do 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 for each of those positions. We're going to start with that 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 and make some adjustments without changing the value. What do I mean by that? How about if I extend this to a full factorial, that is 10 factorial, so I would um, annex to this 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Well, that changes the value, and so that doesn't work. But if we divide it by what I just um, annexed, that's the 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 1, we still only have the 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. Using factorial notation, we can write this as 10 factorial divided by 6 factorial. We can also write this as 10 factorial, and in the denominator, instead of writing the number 6, we can write this as the quantity 10 minus 4. Well, the number of items selected was 4, and the number of items in the set is 10. So now we were able to express this particular problem in a solution that uses 
the number of items selected, which is 4, and the number of items in the set, which is 10. Let's extend that. Suppose R items can be selected from a set of N items. No items may be selected more than once, and the order of arrangement matters. The number of items selected is R. The number of items in the set is N. Let's rewrite that formula we obtained in Part A using variables. That'll give us N factorial divided by N minus R factorial. Permutations formula for no duplicate items. The number of permutations of N items taken R at a time is written as P and then in the subscript N comma R is equal to N factorial divided by the quantity N minus R factorial. The P subscript N comma R can also be written as subscript N capital P subscript R. Example, the city's park and recs center has seven members on its board of directors. In how many different ways can the board elect a chair, secretary, and treasurer? This is a permutations problem. Why is that? Because all items are chosen from one set. That's the board of directors. Secondly, no item can be selected more than once. The chair, secretary, and treasurer are three distinct positions. And the order or arrangement matters. That is, the chair, the secretary, and the treasurer all have different tasks. So we can use our permutations formula. Now let's put our numbers in. The numbers of items selected, well, that's three. Those are the three positions. Number of items in the set, that's seven. There are seven board members. Let's replace N with seven and R with three in the permutations formula. P sub seven comma three is equal to seven factorial divided by the quantity seven minus three factorial. Do what's in the parentheses first, so you will have seven factorial divided by four factorial. Compute that, and the result is 210. Permutations can be computed on your TI-84 as well. For this problem, we had seven items from which you pick three. To use the permutation feature, select seven, math, and then scroll right to PRB to suggest probability. Scroll down one, and you'll notice you see NPR. Choose it by pressing enter, and then for the subscript number, put in three. On the screen, you see seven permute three. Press enter, and the result is 210. Example, consider the letters in the word A, D, A, and list all of the permutations. How many actual permutations exist. To be able to distinguish between the two uppercase A's, we'll use an uppercase A and a lowercase A, at least to start out with. So we could have capital A, capital D, little a, and we could switch that to little a, capital D, capital A. Another permutation could be capital A, little a, capital D. Switch the orders of the A's so you have little a, capital A, capital D. Another permutation to consider capital D, capital A, 
little a. Switch the order of the a's and you have capital D, little a, big A. So what you actually have here, count them out. Six different permutations, which you can get as a three factorial. However, our lowercase a is actually uppercase a. So when we turn our lowercase a back to uppercase a, the first two in that row, they're actually the same thing. Similarly, in the second one, AAD is AAD. They're the same. And finally, DAA and DAA are also the same. That is, there are only three permutations. Three. Well, how can we get there using factorial notation? That would work as 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial. And that's actually equal to the number of items permuted, ADA, that's 3. And if we divide that by the number of identical items permuted, that is, we had A twice, so we did 2 factorial, that actually gave us a permutation where some of the items were repeated. Permutations formula of duplicate items. The number of permutations of n items where p items are identical, q items are identical, r items are identical, and so on, is given by n factorial divided by p factorial times q factorial times r factorial times dot dot dot. Example, determine the number of distinct permutations that can be formed using the letters of the word Tallahassee. Let's recognize this. This is a permutation with duplicate items problem. So the formula we're going to use is n factorial divided by p factorial times q factorial times r factorial times dot dot dot. Let's identify the number of items in the set. That is, we're going to count the letters of Tallahassee. That turns out to be 10 letters. The A is duplicated how many times? I count three. The letter L is duplicated how many times? Twice. And the letter E is duplicated how many times? Twice as well. So let's replace the N with 10, P with 3, Q with 2, and R with 2. So our formula becomes 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 2 factorial times 2 factorial. Let's compute each of the parts separately using your calculator. 10 factorial is 3,628,800. 3 factorial is 6 times 2 factorial is 2 times 2 factorial is 2. Let's continue but multiply the items in the denominator together. That leads us to 3,628,800 divided by 24. And that quotient is 151,200.